Hi guys! Today we're going to talk about some basic yet important makeup tips that will help you improve your filmmaking projects. Welcome to Welcome to Pull My Focus, Adventures in the World of Digital Filmmaking, where we give you the tips, tricks, and techniques you need to make great video. We got an awesome show for you today with our special guest uh, to do makeup, Jocelyn Barrios. Did, did I say that right? Did I? No. Ba Barrios. How, how's that? No. that? Still no. Barrios. Almost. Barrios. No. Barrios? Yes! Oh! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> For a lot of filmmakers, I bet that due to limited resources, you ask your female actors to do their own makeup. And for men, you really don't think about it because you're not used to seeing men wearing makeup. But on video, would it help if men wore makeup? Does a woman's everyday makeup work for film? You know that makeup, along with wardrobe and hair, help design and convey the feel and look of a character. It's a creative part of the craft. But you can't always get a makeup artist, especially if you're going to shoot just one person for a couple of hours. So we're going to teach you some basic makeup tips that either you or someone from your team can use. Ask your talent if they have any allergies to makeup they've used in the past. You don't want your shoot ruined by a bad skin reaction. The makeup station needs to be lit with the same light you're shooting in. Natural if shooting daylight, tungsten if shooting tungsten. Now we'll do basic makeup on a guy. Come here, Frank. We will clean the face first. Working on a clean canvas, it's important to clear the face of any oils and dirt that your actor may have. I like to use makeup remover wipes. Powder on men is a minimal makeup application that helps prevent shine. I suggest a translucent powder so that you're not affecting the actor's skin color. If you need to do that, we will have to cover that in another video. Use disposable mascara wands to groom the eyebrows and mustache. They're great for grooming beards and eyebrows, as well as applying mascara. You want disposable for hygiene reasons. If you use the same wand that comes with the mascara on several people, you could give them pink eye. Now let's do a more detailed makeup on a woman. We will clean the face first, just like we did before, with the makeup remover wipes. We will apply primer, which works as a base and helps our makeup last longer. I use Serma Shield, which also works as a barrier from damaging the skin, especially when I work with special effects makeup. Once you've applied the primer, it's time for some concealer to hide any dark circles under the eyes. In a close-up on the video, you're more apt to notice differences in color and contrast than you would in person. We're drawn to look at the person's eyes and dark circles are not pretty. Once you've blended that out, it is time for foundation. Make sure you have a matte foundation that fits the skin color of the person. Tell the actress to bring her foundation and if it's not matte, get a matte version for her. You don't want to have to get into buying the right foundation. There are so many choices. Some skin has pink undertones, yellow undertones, etc. After that, you want to set it with a translucent powder, which locks in our work, magnifies it, and also prevents any shine or oil from appearing on camera. Now, if you want eyeshadow, you're better off with matte shades for a more natural look because anything with shimmer will pick up light easily and give a glam makeup look. Unless that's the look you're going for. Last but not least, an eyebrow pencil to define the eyebrows and mascara to help define and fill out the eyelashes. I would skip eyeliner. It's not considered a natural look and you're getting into a more complicated territory where a more experienced makeup artist would be needed. Like painting, you need brushes to apply makeup, but don't worry. You don't have to break the bank. Get three types of basic brushes. You would need a powder brush, an eyeshadow brush, and a blending brush. 
You can get affordable packets of them on Amazon. See the links in the description. Buying multiple helps with keeping proper hygiene as well. You do not want to use the same brush on more than one actor unless it's been cleaned after every use. Clean with mild soap and water. And there you go, basic makeup to help elevate your shoot to a whole nother level because you suck. No. Uh, <laughs> and there you go, basic makeup tips that can help elevate the look and feel of your projects. I uh, recommend shooting tests if you can to see, you know, actually on video and with the color correction you do in post if it has the look that you want. Some people say, oh, <laughs> You can't just do makeup. Well, I mean, come on. You're probably shooting and lighting and editing your own stuff, right? So why can't you do your own makeup? I know. Right? And it's basic. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks to our guest, Jocelyn Barrios. Barrios. Th what she said. Uh, make sure to check out our other videos on production and post-production techniques and tips and all that fun stuff. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Barrios. Barrios.